he's a racist. The African Union is outraged over a report the president used a vulgar term about several nations, including African ones, in a meeting about immigration. The BBC's Nick Bryant reports. Donald Trump signing a proclamation in honor of the civil rights leader Martin Luther King. At the very moment, he stands accused of using a slur directed at African nations. Here, though, he's stuck to his script. Today we celebrate Dr. King for standing up for the self-evident truth Americans hold so dear that no matter what the color of our skin or the place of our birth, we are all created equal by God. Mr. President, will you give an apology for the statement yesterday? After the ceremony came a very unceremonious commotion. Mr. President, are you a racist? The sitting president being asked by a reporter if he's racist. Mr. President, are you a racist? It was behind closed doors in the Oval Office that Donald Trump allegedly claimed that immigrants from Haiti, El Salvador, and African nations came from whole countries. Donald Trump said he used strong language during the meeting on immigration reform with senators, though not that word. But he's been fiercely contradicted by a senior Democrat who was present. I cannot believe that in the history of the White House, in that Oval Office, any president has ever spoken the words that I personally heard our president speak yesterday. Mid. He said these hateful Move. things. Come. And he said them repeatedly. From the United Nations in Geneva came the stiffest of rebukes. These are shocking and shameful comments. I'm sorry, but there's no other word one can use but racist. Wow. Uh, you cannot dismiss entire countries and continents as bubbles. And across Africa, there's been a furious response. The Botswana government called Donald Trump's comments reprehensible and racist. It may be just words, maybe in another part of the world, but on this continent, that word is an insult. Build the wall was the cry of voters who loved Donald Trump's hardline stance on immigration during the election. Uh, we're going we're gonna to build the wall, folks. Don't worry. This is fueling more war. Him and the Queen. I'm fighting John, um, Donald Trump and Queen Elizabeth II for inciting war, bank war. There's his picture. And there's been more backlash following Mr. Trump's decision not to visit London next month. He had been due to open the new U.S. embassy there. Julie Reid reports. This is as close as the new state-of-the-art U.S. Like. embassy will get to having the U.S. president on its doorstep. For now, a mere Rex model. Donald name. Trump cancels his trip to open this new super-secure building, tweeting he's not a fan of the Obama administration having sold the current embassy in Mayfair for peanuts to build a new one in what he called an off-location, that it was a bad deal, and wanted me to cut ribbon? No. It was, in fact, under Bush that the process started, and commentators believe the real reason behind the cancellation is the prospect of this. Protest, the hundreds and thousands of people that will be here peacefully protesting against his visit because of his racist and his misogynistic views. The Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, today tweeting that many Londoners have made it clear that Donald Trump is not welcome. He doesn't forge relationships. It's about his perspective on whether you are useful to him in the moment. But Downing Street says the president is welcome. Foreign Minister Boris Johnson saying the US is the biggest single investor in the UK and tweets such as the mayor's put the crucial relationship between the UK and the US at risk. The new embassy opens for business next week but won't be officially opened until next month. And with Donald Trump no longer coming, he's sending Rex Tillerson in his place to cut the ribbon. This would have been Trump's first visit to the UK as president, but it was never going to be the full state visit. That's apparently still on the cards for later in the year. Joy Reid, One News London. Well, that's what he looks like. The Wall Street Journal has reported Donald Trump's lawyer paid a prostitute $130,000 at the height of the 2016 presidential race to keep quiet. Stephanie Clifford, also known as Stormy Daniels, is alleged to have had an affair with Donald Trump in 2006. That's one year after he married his wife, Melania. Both Trump and Ms. Clifford's lawyers have refuted the allegations. 
And Donald Trump says he'll extend sanctions relief for Iran one last time so Europe and the U.S. can fix what he calls the nuclear deal's terrible flaws. The White House has given its European allies 120 days to agree to a new deal or the U.S. will pull out. It's the third time Trump has given a reprieve to the agreement negotiated by the Obama administration, despite calling it the worst deal ever. Rescue crews in California. I was just waiting for the bodies of five people still um, something on the White Tangy um, National Trust. I'll just see if they'll put something on shortly. It's unknown when this so freeway will open with officials um, predicting... So, nothing much to say today, other than more than 60 houses were I'm just the search effort going over a few weeks. things. Great Barrier Island residents are fighting plans for a mass poison drop. More than half the adult population of the outer Hauraki Gulf Island has signed a petition opposing the spread of poison on nearby Rakitu Island. But the Department of Conservation says it's the best way to eradicate pests. Jenny saw reports. It's isolation. I'm just waiting for the um, and emerald waters to make Rakatu Island an ideal haven if for wildlife. Any news on it. But the ship rats copped on too, and today they number in the thousands. Now a decision to eradicate them, but hundreds of locals on neighbouring Great Barrier Island want a poison drop ruled out. Um, we've collected over 700 signatures at this very busy time of year. Over 400 of those are on island residents or ratepayers. Petition supporters favour trapping instead, but Doc says the island is too big for that to work. We've got some amazing islands in the Hauraki Gulf that have had Protifica merely applied to them and they are thriving, amazing um, islands with great species on them. The 320 hectare island is less than three kilometres away from Great Barrier Island. This winter, the Department of Conservation is planning two aerial drops of Britificum. In total, it plans to drop around 12 kilograms per hectare. A sample of 50 weka will be taken before the drop. 22 other How bird species will remain. It's Doc the believes they're less likely to eat the poison. It also says only a teaspoon of poison will poison. reach the water. And in previous operations, marine organisms weren't affected. Anti-poison lobbyists say Doc is playing down the negatives. Um, we're looking at this terrain and we can see how much poison is going to end up in the water. The fish are going to eat the poison. A lot of people on the barrier. Yeah, the that's, that's right. Charmaine Foster's family owned the island before it was bought by Doc. She's anti-poison too. Her son set up hundreds of traps around the island, convinced an aerial island? drop won't work. Rats swim, and they were, there are many, many caves on this island, and they all interlink. They'll just hide away. They'll hide till they think it's safe to come out. The local iwi is in talks with Doc and isn't ruling out supporting the drop. It's been used on Mukahino, which is one of our islands. It's been used on Hotu or Toi. Both of these islands have no pests left, and they are thriving with life and with bird life. We're putting information out. We're certainly listening to feedback. Um, but at this point in time, based on the analysis that we've done, that is still the preferred technique. Residents will hear from Doc in two weeks' time. Still hopeful a resounding community voice Chief, will bring about a change. Up. Jenny Saw, One News. Now still to come, Facebook gets back to basics. The social media giant promises fewer ads and more posts from friends. But the reboots got some businesses panicking. A surgeon who secretly branded his patient as... Anyway, so I'll just finish this little clip off. And it looks down. like a fairy tale, but the Queen's revealed how certain aspects of her coronation day it's were really hot today, for all this week. And I'm just saying this about Donald Trump. Donald Trump is in a more or less contract with Queen Elizabeth II and the Lost Old Bank. He's only there for them and no one else. So he's a direct threat to this flag, the King's flag, and Brexit. I'm saying to Brexit, use this pound note, use these pound notes to rein them in. To rein them in. Because they are breaking our laws of Britain and us here. Okay, so we are straining out to New Zealand, the Queen's 
Healy Nash, CEO and trustee. Who are in the scheme for now you got Bitcoin right in the middle of it with Donald Trump and John Key in Australia pushing the Bitcoin and a few people here using pushing the Bitcoin. Money out of thin air. People getting money out of thin air. Where is that money coming from? Right? And that's what I put to them. Where is the money coming from? Who's pocket or who's bank? You see? The same old shit again. Trump shit. And they are a legacy of themselves running around and rolling over this corrupted Bank of England and Rothschild Bank, Israel, and Trump and the US Federal State Government and the United States of America Government. The state government, the federal government, and the Commonwealth government. That's all tied up in the British Empire. And that's where I'm coming from with this flag. Against anybody else in this country, New Zealand, where all the rackets started from with the Queen. So the Queen has liable everybody in that business with Trump and everything that's got the Queen's head on. And you get this pound note, 970 million trillion trillion pound note with Ernest Augustus, right here, on your head. 970 million trillion trillion pounds on your head, all of you. And you, Trump, this is for you. Yeah. It's up to the British Navy to adhere to this contract we have with the 970 million trillion trillion pound note. That's over the years from 1823 to 2018. The date of the treaty settlement, 6th of February 2018, and also the 1823 period when the British legally took this country on. It is founded under King George IV. That is Ernest Augustus, reigning monarch, King of Britain, UK, Hanover, right now. He is the resident. He is the resident, King of Britain, UK, living in London. Our oath of office with this flag that belongs to his ancestors, King William III, King William IV, King George IV. Those three kings and the three paramount chiefs, Uri Tukuri in Hokianga, Rewhere from Manukau in the Manukau Harbour in Waiuku, and Puponga at Kumaras, and Te Rewaikato Wharehere in Manukau, from Mangatauteri Mountain in Cambridge, Waikato area, region, and Pohara Marae, at the base of Mangatauteri Mountain, and that's my father-in-law, Peter Meehan and Marae, and Wim Shouty. So I've got taken those two as being my first point of call, the families of Wim Tauti and Winnikiri. Uh, those two that work with me. So that's those three paramount chiefs equal to a king, and I'm standing in for them with this pound note as our partner live. He's about the same age as, no, I'm older than him, 68 this year. And Ernest Augustus is 64. 64. Four years younger than me. So I'm standing in for his ancestors to pass the surrogate from those three kings to him to put him back into Westminster under a Brexit.
of um, um, Earth Justice to be the reigning monarch to replace the Queen. And the Muslims have said there that if the Queen doesn't join the Muslims, they don't get rid of her. Get rid of her. And so I'm saying to anybody in Britain that this is the king that will put everything right with this flag and the pound note to build everyone in the world. And so I'm ready for that. I'll apostolize these to make them legal to use this note, which is colored green, and I'll print another one out and have that in the apostoly of just this note. I'll have it in its green colour for Ireland, St. Patrick green colour, or these King William's orange colour, but we've got green colour, I've chosen the green as being Irish. The orange is the king, but the green is St. Patrick, my family. I'm standing in the surrogate for St. Patrick, the green. Okay, the green colour. In the other green colour, I've got here, I was told that the rest of here with Jamie Patrick on it as being a Patrick. She's a Patrick here in New Zealand as being a Patrick the other opposite side of the Patrick in um, Ireland. So far. I have here, but I don't know that's one, but I wanted to show you the proper green colour. That's the green colour there. Okay? That's the green colour with Jamie there. And I, as the Patrick in New Zealand. Okay, the Patrick in New Zealand family is 970 million trillion trillion pound note. That's what I say. I'm making these figures. Okay? And apostolise this. And apostolise. Then it's just in green. Okay? So I have to, I've got King Arthur here, she's got a false crown. It doesn't get more regal than a gold coach on Coronation Day, but apparently it's a bit of a bumpy ride. Horrible. There's not mentioned travelling at all. <clears throat> I mean, it's just not, it's only sprung on leather. So it rocks around a lot. It's just not very comfortable. Were you in it for a long time? What Halfway around London. Really? We must have got about four or five miles. We can only go at a walking pace. Yeah. The horses couldn't possibly go any faster. Right. It's so heavy. The Queen is recounting travelling in the nearly four-ton carriage to her coronation in 1953 in a BBC documentary and reminding the British public about the coronation traditions and the crown jewels. If the Queen has only worn St Edward's gold crown once, she is much more familiar with this, the diamond-encrusted imperial state crown. She wore it at the end of her coronation and for most state openings of Parliament since. It's difficult. She doesn't wear it now. Always remember that diamonds are stones. <laughs> so very heavy. Yes. Fortunately, my father and I have had about the same sort of shaped head. Mm. But once you put it on, it stays. I mean, it, it just remains itself. 
You have to keep your head very still. Yes. And you can't look down to read the speech. You have to take the speech up. Because if you did, your neck would break and it'd fall off. So there are some <clears throat> disadvantages to crowns, but, but otherwise, they're quite important things. The crown jewels are kept under armed guard in the Tower of London here behind me, but they are still used for very important national ceremonies. So when the next coronation comes about, the sacred St. Edward's crown will be taken off display and out of storage and will once again be used for the first time in six decades. Giving the majority of Britons who haven't experienced a coronation a chance to see their country's ancient traditions. Joy Reid, One News London. Now, before we head to Renee with today's weather highlights, holiday makers in sunny Mount Monganui have enjoyed an unseasonal Here's our weather. Of snow. Oh, no. Yes, a truckload of the white stuff was brought in from Mount Rupe, who's fucked a papa ski field 260 kilometres away. Just about making a move of fish, snow The kids got their pants full of snow. It was amazing. More than 500 holidaymakers and locals traded the surf for the snow, which is yet to completely melt away. All right, Renee is here now with Okay, so that's that. that. It's been a warm one today. I'll just finish off snow. what I was just saying. Uh, apart from the southeastern coast of the South Island under cloud and onshore breezes warm elsewhere, uh, but warmest on the lower north island, those warm temperatures helping fuel thunderstorms so today. I'm just saying, just saying to Trump, this is a notice for you, Trump. You're a disgrace to the American people, and it's no different whether you were there as president or Hillary Clinton or Obama. You're all the same. Tarred brush. It's never going to change until you get rid of the Queen, and that will all disappear. That will all disappear. That's why I'm talking regal and imperial. The British Empire won't be Prince William. It won't be any of that family because the coronation is false and fake. Queen Elizabeth has faked her crown. And there's enough to say about that. That's, that's all being faked. All the way, everything that she touches is fake. Even over here. All, everything's falling to bits. You've seen why Tony fall to bits in the trust. It's corrupted inside, corrupted to hell. And that means all the other trusts, I'm holding them to account on this video, as corrupted and fraud. And hiding the corruption away with the prince in NZ Invest, limited company, downtown Auckland, holding those police companies private. Nobody's business. So all of that, this note here is up against you. Okay, I'm going to put the, the both, apostoly both of them. Apostoly both of them, because I want this one held here in New Zealand, and this one here held in London. Okay, so it's got um, um, King Arthur in there. And however, I'm just going to check with that to see how that fits. Uh, I've got it there in any case because um, uh, Matt Taylor is, that's his king. That's his king. I put it there for him and whatever, that's his business. And he's there with us at the moment, uh, sitting low. So for anybody who tempers with what I'm doing with Matt Taylor there. <coughs> you, you people that are anonymous won't show your face. <coughs> I'm holding you to these pound notes as well. Everyone in the world is up against this pound note. Bitcoins and all. All your Bitcoins, Obama and um, uh, um, I mean Donald Trump and John Key, your Bitcoins is up against this debtor to put you out of business one shot with the British Empire flag. This is the British Empire's flag with the eight point stars on it. Municipalities to skunk you off and audit all your books with the British Navy. And I'm putting this at the British Navy.
doesn't respond, it's because the EU Parliament is interfering with our contract. They're tempering with the King's contract with us, the natives, of all the natives in the world. I'm saying in all the world, this St. Patrick's eight-point star is the crown jewel of the whole world. Okay? So, I've said enough about that, but I'm getting back to this Donald Trump and his racist remarks. No matter what, everything in America is corrupted. The whole, the whole thing in, in, in America, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Britain—it's corrupted. The whole lot, and that's what this is going up against. That, and that. I'm going to get a coloured one tomorrow and put it there. And really, um, King William the Third and King William the Fourth should have been here. King, King William the Third should have been here beside King William the Fourth. And um, um, <coughs> King George IV should have been on here with that. But there's enough, I've got enough around with everything. So because Matt's there, he's bound to this um, of what I'm doing with his party, the SOS party, Independent Party, and the Maui King William Party. Now Matt, this one for you. Do not compromise what I've done in Britain with King William IV, King William III, and King George IV. You're there because we are together in this to go into Westminster. And any indication into King Arthur is really up to what I say and what the monarch situation is currently with the commerce and the pound note. Now, as what I can see is King Arthur didn't have any pound notes. So we're only looking at all the commerce that's been made out of the pound note on the stock exchange with US dollars come out of the pound note. All the currencies that Rothschild banks have forced the countries to buy the US dollar, fake dollar, and use the pound note to cover it up. We're seizing that pound note of the Rothschild banks. Okay? We, we have the right to print the pound note because of the flag here, of jurisdiction and its power that the King gave us to use. It's not to anybody else to use. Now, if it's found that the SFO is, is investigating Waitangi Marae or Waitangi National Trust, of fraud in their transactions and irregularities in their accounting system, then I'm saying to the SFO, it's gone right through all the other trustees connected to Waitangi because they all go there into that marae that's got my carvings in it and that's my own Uetaha down the East Coast, my right to those carvings. And wherever those carvings are memorials to me and my Wanoa Tahitian royal families in East Island and the Moai statue standing in Auckland overpowers everything with the seal, the Moai seal and King William's seal. Those two seals outrun the Queen and her family. I'm saying we're going to get rid of the Rothschild Bank, his bitcoins, Trump, and all the racket that's going on because this flag is for pirates. It was given to us to keep the pirates out and we're going to use it, legally use it on pirates. With these notes, that, and the trillion pound note on the birth certificates. Okay, got that? That's all I want to say, really. Apart from that, I had a good talk with um, um, uh, manager in Scotland. Um, Jackie Little, Little Gordon's husband, um, Andy, and Zara, uh, there as well on the camera, um, on Skype. 
and also Gaul Payne in America, although Gaul and his titles are complicated, they're not that easy to undo a fair bit of um, effort has to go on his part because of their jurisdictions are in their own country. If I get this one done, it will go right over the top of everything there. And so I don't need to go through all the little trouble through all their different states. This covers the whole British Empire that built them in the first place, came out of this British Empire flag. Okay, the, the flag is the result of a contract that was set up in 1823 with King George IV and Te here in Manukau from Puara Marae and Mangatotani Pa. So, so um, uh, that's all I really want to say. I think I've covered enough. Uh, Daryl asked me um, how, how can it be made easier for people to understand where this is going. I'm saying to him that I'm getting this end going. I'll split these books up and make some more videos. I'll make a video on the apostolation of the documents, seal them with the lawyer, um, a notary public. I'm going to see Tony um, Tony um, Fortune, from Fortune Many, an approved um, notary public. We can't have any notary or any justice or peace to sign these documents uh, before they go into internal affairs in Wellington and to the foreign affairs to London and Westminster Parliament. So all the books stacked together should be about that so high in a box, I'll put them in a box, and get them sealed, then go straight up to my private investigator, Graham Allen, and get him to cite them, and I will put them on YouTube, with the pages, showing you the pages, each page on each book, that's quick as to do that, and then I can print them off at the same time, screen print the book, and put it online. I'll put that on my website, mypowerhouse.com although Cecile Hoods is making a new website for the shares and for the business to run away from the site that I'm working on. That's my site to throw everything on and she transfers from that onto the operating site. Okay, so she's going to run the business and split out off the site that I put there. I'll put anything that I want there as being additional information for her to pick out what I think. Now at this stage, before I forget, the shares on the My Tidal Turbine project will be fixed at £25 a share. That's right across the board. So that means <coughs> each country has a billion shares and we'll be starting off from Scotland and New Zealand and if I'm going to the Philippines, the Philippines on the shares. I'll set up the Philippines for funding in rural areas <coughs> on a project that our policies that Cecile will be um, targeting will be for families funding for families. And so that model will go straight into Philippines if I go there with my girlfriend. Um, that's the plan. And to other countries that need assistance uh, there after that. Africa, um, India. Uh, although that's going in with the governments of that country of assisting in their contribution with what we put in from Britain, UK, Brexit. Okay, so the Brexit will build the 50 billion straight against 
the U Euro European Union for the Queen violating and tampering with our contract, the King's contract, and going into the EU Parliament and signing the EU Parliament into existence with Gordon Brown. I've got all that here as well. The 50 billion goes against her. She's liable. The whole amount. Everything in here, she's liable. And all the main heads that have usurped the power of this place with the Governor General here. The Governor General gets this bill. They all share this bill. I'm billing the whole lot of them on the 26th, Friday the 26th of January 2018. I'll be certifying that in there. And then apostasy before or after that day. That's really up to what I say. But I'll, I'll go with these documents, these books. The single pages like this on its own will have a backing, a plastic backing, and a black, black back cover. Black back cover. Behind the back. So it'll be like looking like that and plastic on and the black on the back. Okay? And that's just one. Pay for that one. And then it will have one for this download. Another apostle seal for that one for Ernest Gusta, but it'll be green. Now sticking to the green Irish dollar, not orange, uh, orange. I'm sticking to the green, original green Irish. St. Patrick colour. So that's another one. And then we get these are the single ones. <coughs> and then we get um, Moira's one with the <coughs> Marae in Tahiti. One goes in there, or two, two pages in there for her, and so on. So I've still got to do those yet. I'll get around to it yet. Oh man, it's so hot here. And I'm going for a little walk, which was something to go down about. A little cooler and go for a walk. And we'll let a little bit of a run. And come back and attack my fish again. My, my fish. I'll show you my tennis. I'll show you my tennis. I must show you the tennis. You couldn't see them last night. But here's the rest of them. Here's, here's the rest of the tennis. Okay, these are the lovely things from the brain. Right. They'll last quite a long time. And till the next week on Wednesday. And that's the fish. The fish there. Okay. And well, and the plate goes like that, like that. Okay, just to show you what I'm all about in my little castle here. It's my little castle. I'll get something bigger later. Not just now. Just squashing all these documents. Not good. Not very good. I better get them sewed up. Anyway, that's all I want to say about Trump today. Okay? He's the shareholder. He's the shareholder. And he's made a mess of America. He hasn't made America great. He's made it worse. And it's happening that way. Mysteriously, they're falling apart with the scenes with the Queen and him. And all the fraud and corruption is starting to ooze out. Okay, so that's all. We'll see you later. Have a nice day. Bye.